My name is Maria Valella. I am an Ashtanga yoga teacher in Santa Monica. I am also a student of traditional Chinese medicine at Emperor's College. You know, I'm not the first to say this. It's been said many times, but the breath is the most important aspect of the practice. A good indicator of where you're at is your breathing. If you're not able to breathe, or if you even try to feel where the breath is going in your body, you will feel what places in your body are stuck and unable to receive the breath. You will start to feel that. And that's where this can be like a meditation for you. Where am I feeling stagnation? Where am I feeling stuck? Where am I feeling in my body that I can't get breath to? Um, and you may notice that inhalations are easier and exhalations are more difficult or vice versa. Um, then your work is to balance them, balance the inhalation to the exhalation. When you're moving in the poses, if you lose sight of the breath, you've stopped practicing yoga. If you've lost your breath and you're panting in and out through your mouth, <sighs> You'd be better off going to a gym or running. Yoga, you're not doing yoga anymore. So as a new student, if you can't keep up with the traditional count in the sequence in the primary series, it's fine to take extra breaths. It's much better than holding the breath. The count is there as a guidance and it's what you're working towards is synchronizing your breath towards that count. But you know, give yourself time. Don't hold your breath and don't push for that. Um, you shouldn't be blue when you're practicing yoga or red. <laughs> um, you should be able to breathe comfortably. And so you just wait for the breath to, you know, you, you give it in, you set your intention there and you work towards it. And then you accept that it's not gonna be there right away. It's a process.